Hello, we're back here again with your self-proclaimed best internet girl, Carmilla. And we're going to continue where we left off of the previous game. We are playing this train deluxe edition on mobile. So, we are here at Mr. Jones' house to size his property for whatever reason that is. So, let's just continue the game, shall we? There's a slot machine. Huh? Oh, it's an old slot machine. It doesn't seem to work. Okay. Boarded room. The room is boarded. I can't get you. What's this? So the like? Huh? What the hell is this? Looks like a drug lab. Ooh. Ah. Uh, uh. And that green smoke? I shouldn't smell it. Screw it. He goes nothing. Ooh. Mushroom. What's this? What? In between the walls? Oh, did we just smoke some weed or something? <laughs> There's something weird about this painting. Maybe I need to look at it. look at it from a different angle. Oh, we gotta smoke some mushrooms. Can't get you. Okay, I understand. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's blocked with mushrooms. Whoa! It's almost like a piece of this painting would be highlighted blue. I wonder if it comes off. Huh? Look at that. What's this? Oh, this is the hallway. It's so confusing! Oh, maybe we need to smoke the mushroom? And then um, fit the puzzle piece in the other painting. I guess so. Where is this again? I need to memorize places. I don't understand where we are coming from. Oh, maybe he? It doesn't seem to fit here. Okay. So something I understand. I'm positive this piece will fit here. Oh, I did it. I need a coin to play it. So, okay. I don't know how many attempts we are in right now, but the show must go on. We shall do our best to continue to find Mr. Jones or his scopes or whatever. Oh, why am I so slow? Can you please just let me go through? Can we just go through here? This is this is so oh I don't know no 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 my attempts are wasted okay right here and we're going to go through that door okay believe me we can do this gamers do this Run! Yes! 
Yes. I am speed. I am speed. Is this the painting? Yes. It's almost like a piece of this painting would be. Highlighted red. I wonder if it comes off. Hey, look at that. Yes. Finally. We got that. You went home? No one is home. You're hide on mushroom. Oh. Oh, they are dead. Smoke some mushroom here And we gotta put some puzzle pieces I'm positive this piece will fit here Oh it did Okay A door? Yes Oh there are people here They're just high We're going we are in the same length as they are right now Because we are also high on mushrooms collecting those puzzle pieces Finally! Finally! I found you! Mm. You're here for the party? Oh sorry My name's Price, I work for the... Oh yeah, you're here to take over my home well, I'm here to make sure everything goes smoothly, so to speak. I can't guarantee that. Why? I'm pretty fucking upset. Again, why? See, I wanted to have an amazing far farewell party. A night to remember. Why didn't you? That lousy band refused to play. I mean, we had an, an arrangement. But they decided not to honor it. I see. But you... But you... Look like a guy that knows his way around. Maybe you could convince them to play. Maybe I could. But why would I? Because I will trust this place for good if I don't get my party. We have insurance for that. Sure. But think about all of that paperwork. Oh, I'm wrestling with an insurance company. Sounds sweet. Okay, you made your point. If I get the band to play here, you promise to behave? Of course. Of course. I am a man of my word. Alright, so where could I find them? Luckily for you, I live the next door. The door near the window in the hallway. I'll see what I can do. Okay then. Hi man, why the sad face? We're supposed to party man. I wanna dance. Oh, okay. What's this? Lots of boxes here. Okay. We gotta smoke some mushrooms. What is... Oh! Telephone! I'm here to make a phone call. Wonderful. That would be four dollars, sir. Oh. I don't have any money with me. The phone calls then. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. I'm going to go outside of this room. And knock some doors. Where's the way out? Oh, we're gonna smoke some mushroom to see the door. And I guess the wind, the door that we have been um, knocking. They're in the door that we have been knocking multiple times. Here? This is Price. I'm looking for a local band. Is this the right address? Yeah, come in please. 
What's this? Hey, I have a television just like this. They look like Mr. Moore, Bruton, and McDade. Evening. <coughs> Evening. I want you guys to play at a party. Interested? Absolutely. Just tell us when and where. The next door, now. Oh, oh. So he sent you. Yeah, he was pretty upset that you refused to play. Oh yeah? Good. We have a perfectly good reason though. He agreed to pay us before the gig. But now he says he will pay half now and the other half later. Like he would. Everyone he knows that he will be evicted any day now. Oh, that's why I'm here for. I'm supposed to ensure everything goes peacefully. He's threatening to destroy the apartment unless he gets his party. That's my Joe. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't play either if I were you. He didn't actually strike me like a trustworthy guy. But could you consider playing? Unless he's pay us in the full No. Fair enough. Let me think of something. Hi. What can we have? I don't usually shoot trash cans, but it looks as if there's something interesting. Huh. Five dollar bills? I'm not a thief, but since it was in the trash can. Oh, we're going to make a phone call with this five dollar bills. Okay then. To the mushroom room I come. Mushroom room. Okay. Come here and make some phone calls. Okay. I'm here to make a phone call. Wonderful. That would be full dollars, sir. Huh? Just one sec. That's funny. I don't even know how who I'm making a call to. Well, you know where to find me, sir. Where should we call? What? Oh. Isn't that our building across the street? Huh. Huh. That gave me an idea. Maybe I could promise the band some high quality elite gigs. I need to check with the bosses though. I think I should call them. And it just happens to be so that the number is right there. Okay, I think I got it. I need to find a telephone. Okay. They're high on mushrooms. I'm here to make a phone call. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Recite me the number and I shall redial it for you, sir. Here you go. Thank you, sir. I will dial the number for you now. Mr. McDade, Britain and Moore's office. Miss McCone speaking. How can I be of your assistance? Hi, Jenny. This is Price calling. Could you please connect the call to one of the big guys? Of course, Mr. Price. One second. Son! It's good to talk to you. How goes the job? Hey, Britain. How goes it? Listen. There's this local band. You think I could hire them? A band? Well, can we play a real music? What kind of music is that? Real music, not some hipster shit. Any specific gender in your mind? Blues! Blues! If they can play blues, then hire them! Alright, thank you, Bruton. Okay, I'm finished. 
Thank you, Mr. Telephone Man. Don't forget the chainsaw. Oh yeah, thanks. Thank you. Off we go. Okay then, let's try the um, slot machine. We got our coin. Come on, jackpot! Look at that! I want, I want a blues book. What kind of machine is this? Oh, we're going to give the blues book to the local band so they can learn how to play some blues. Yes. I have an offer for you. I'm working for this very classy company. We're having some awesome parties every now and then. We are definitely interested. So, if you agree to play now, I will give your number to my bosses. But there's a small catch. They asked if you guys can play some blues. Blues, eh? Yes, I believe I've heard about the gender. Oh. Oh, you can't play blues? Maybe if we had some notes? Then you guys are in luck. I've come across this blues book. Do you wanna give it a go? Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe I got it. Yes, I got it. That was awesome. Okay, guys, let's get the party started. And I'll promise you guys some high quality gigs. A nightmare. There's a gramophone, a door. Okay, let's see where this door leads us. Oh, it's Mrs. Goodwin with her husband. All the changes you asked for has been made. Thank you, Mr. Braden. See, I got myself a bunny to keep me company. Mrs. Charlene is her name. Well, I've become very attached to her. And I think she will outlive me. See? That rabbit's dynamite. I understand, Mrs. Goodwin. Animals can bring a great comfort to their owners. You're right, Mrs. Braden. Don't worry, Mrs. Goodwin. The stipulation in your will shall ensure Mrs. Chanel goes to a good home, should the need ever arise. That's the only thing I asked. It's fair. I'm sorry. Time's up. That would be $500, Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, oh, of course, Mr. Braden. Huh? What the hell was that? What the hell is that sound? Is it from outside? Let's see first. It's not TV. It's not. Mm -hmm. What is that? <laughs> You're right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh, look, dear, 
it's our little boy. I can see that hun. Mom, Dad. What, what, what is this? Oh, oh! I hope we didn't wake you up there. You did. You did. What the? We wanted to surprise you, me and your mother, by preparing you a breakfast. Okay, okay, okay. Think. This is not really happening. You're nothing but my subconscious mind. That is correct, son. We are a part of you. But what's the meaning of this? Can't you see, son? This is not the work for you. But you already know this, don't you? We thought to make sure you would understand by... by feeding you the guilt. Your elephant. I'm sorry, son. I know it's a bit extreme but we are on stop it stop it now she... She... I'm losing my mind and it was supposed to be my day off might just as well I try and relax I need coffee Let's drink some coffee first. Okay, the coffee is brewing. I really need to calm down now. I'm so worked up at the moment. Was some television? I've been thinking I should sell my TV. I watch it so rarely. I don't need to call anyone. I need coffee first. I'll just suit up later. Okay then. Coffee it is. He is a coffee freak. That's... It's been a while since I last used my oven. Take away for the win. Huh? What's this? Oh yeah, I subscribed to the daily paper. This is good, just what I needed. I'll enjoy a cup of coffee while reading the headlines. The coffee should be ready by now. Mm. Hi. Newspaper and coffee makes a good combination. But only if you don't mix them. Hi. Yes, please. Alright, I'll head to the table. It's chilly in here. Oh, warm coffee. Hmm? Interesting. They're going to increase taxes on food. What else? The construction on the new highway has started. I believe it crosses the old property of Mr. Taylor. I wonder how he's doing. What's this? A new species has been found. That's cool. I wonder what the next page hides. Oh, it's the page for obituaries. Too many names and ages here. Nancy P. Goodwin. The granny died. No, 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 no. I lost it. The way all my world came crashing down on me. It twisted my soul like nothing before. At that very moment, I made a decision. I would quit my job. But before that, but before that, I would have to visit her grave. She died. Thick chain and a huge lock. I need a key. She died. The sweet old granny died. Oh. Okay. It's from the... Other door. I'm here to visit Mr. 
Goodwin. Mrs. Goodwin's grave. Game save. Whatever that means. Okay. The grave digger. Good evening. Nice hole you've got there. Thanks. I need to get to the other side. Didn't you read the notice? We are close, so to speak. Come back later. Can I just... No! Hey! There's something fishy going on around the gate. There's something... Someone's trying to break in. I'm not falling for that. No. Get lost and let me work. Okay. Should we get into a script? Yes. That guy is scary. I really shouldn't poke through his stuff. But I need to visit Mrs. Goodwin. Here goes nothing. Ah, this will come in handy. Okay. Going to break and entering. The door's all swollen and twisted. I can't get it open. Is there any tools we could use? Well, we got some keys. A perfect match. I unlocked the gate. Though the key bent. It's now unusable. I'm so confused. Oh, there's a boy? Eh? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. But wait a second, I know you. From the nursing home. What on earth are you doing? I'm here to visit my husband. But they closed the cemetery. Ha! Ha! They think that will stop me? Never! But madame, you can't go breaking into cemeteries like that. Like you are the one to talk. Would you calm down? Would you calm down and give me the crowbar, please? No! I'm not going to anywhere until I've seen my husband. Do I really have to tell the grave digger that you're up to? Because I don't want to. That guy gives me the creeps. I su suppose... Here. Here! I'll just wait until it's done. Thank you, madame. Hmm. For our evil deed. It's the grave digger's house. Use it here. Maybe I could pry the door open with this crowbar. Open now! Ah! It worked! Oh! We're from here. House of the Junkie. We found a plant. Go back inside. There's nothing more I could use besides I'm not a thief. Yes, you are. Well, it's not stealing if you're just borrowing. There's something fishy going around the gate. Something's trying to break in. Hmm. Oh, we should show the crowbar to him. Look, look, I got this crowbar off from the intruder. That proves I'm not lying. Intruder? Not on my watch. Ah! Right. Let's go. 
I wonder if the plank is long enough. It is. Yes. Oh. What is that? Is this? There's no way I get past the huge lock. Oh. Crowbar, it is. Are we there yet? And there I was. And there I was. Standing in the rain. There was something in that moment. As if I would have felt her presence. It's hard to describe. I know you don't blame me for anything, but... But... I'm sorry. From the little I got to know you. You deserve better. Your passing was a wake-up call for me. I've decided to quit. Wherever you may be, I hope you're okay. I'm sure you are. Oh, before I forget, I brought you something. It's not much, but... May it light your path in the afterlife. Rest in peace, Mrs. Goodwill. so sad. I can't. I muster up the courage. It would end now. I couldn't live like this. And so I went to see my bosses. I went to resign. The water machine. So fast. Hey Jenny. How goes it? Nice to see you, Mr. Price. Have you seen the big guys? No. no. I don't know where they are. Stop interrogating me. Calm down, Jenny. She's... Sorry, sorry. Any messages for me? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, well, let me know if you'll find out where the bosses are. Sure thing, Mrs. Price. Right then. No one here. It's not ringing. Okay. Make date. Not ringing. Hi. Hello, what are you doing? Installing a nameplate for you, Mr. Price. Huh? No. Is there anything here? Just a telephone? I love the eerie atmosphere of this. Okay, back to the first floor. Cost. Huh? It's open. What am I supposed to do with this? A salt shaker. It's such a tight. It's so tight. Okay then, a little salt for the flavor, done, it's too salty, oh, we're going to complain to the receptionist, oh, yes, it is done, hey Jenny, there's something wrong with the coffee, what's that, it tasted funny, salty even, I'm tired of these things. Fine, fine. I'll take a look. Thank you, Jenny. 
Okay, what's this? I think this is what Jenny connects the phone calls with. I'll insert the cord into the blue plug. Done. Done. Okay, what now? Now we're going to go upstairs. Is this... Okay, we are as him speaking. Mr. Taylor is waiting for on the line. Can I connect to the call? What? Again? Ah, please do. Britain. Hello, Britain. This is Taylor speaking. How do you do, Mr. Taylor? Listen, I understand the city is going to build a highway. I've come to accept that. What? You have? Yeah, but I think it would be only fair if my cabin was moved elsewhere. I mean, you only need my sight, not my actual home. I can make the ranch. Stop it! It's too late and too expensive for any of that. I can pay some of the expense. Not going to happen! I will send our new kid over there tomorrow. And make sure you sign the papers. But goodbye now, Mr. Taylor. What an asshole! Huh? Huh? I never realized he was so crude. <laughs> that gave me the goosebumps just then. I'm seriously getting scared. Have you seen the bosses now? No. No, I don't know where they are. Okay. What's the another act that we're going? It's a water machine. There's still some water in it. Oh, what's this? There's something. Oh, it's my coffee mug. But maybe later. Let's drink some water. Don't mind if I do. Maybe one more glass or oh, muck. Water is healthy. A little more. Must drink. Must drink more. I'm gonna burst. Ah! Bleh. Whoops. I think I drank it all. Hey Jenny, I'm sorry to bother you again. What is it this time? There's no water in the mortar machine. And I'm thirsty. What? What? How? I just changed the bottle today. I don't know. Okay, okay, I am going. Okay, the coal is currently plugged to the blue plug. I'll insert it into the red block. Done. Okay. Let's go. Here. It's not written. It's going to be midday. It's red, right? Yeah. Mr. Jones is waiting on the line. Oh, Mr. Jones is waiting on. All right, connect him. This is my date speaking. Hey man, this is the bomb. I I haven't yet found a new apartment. Could you postpone the expropriation? It's a few weeks so I can find somewhere to stay. Anything else? Do you want me to look for you? Want me to hold your hand and walk you across the fucking street? Stop calling here! I'll send someone there tomorrow to take care of things! But dude, I re- Farewell! Ha! Ha! Funny guy! I wasn't really fond of the guy either. But that was just... 
That was just unnecessarily cruel. One by one, you know they're rotten. I bet you know where the bosses are. No, they are wrong. Okay. The coffee is there. The water is not there yet. Is the third safe open this time? Let's see. It's a rack. Mm. Oh, I know what we should do with the rack. We're going to mess with the toilets. Hopefully, this one cloaked the toilet. Whoops! Very sneaky. Jenny, Jenny, the toilet is clocked. Could you go and take a look, please? What am I, a plumber? You know, we hired a janitor a little while back. Um, I'll just call him. No, no, don't do it. I was going to talk to him anyway. So I might just as well tell him about the toilet. That's nice of you. Okay. We're going to go and talk to the janitor. Hey, what are you doing? Starting a nameplate for you, Mr. Price. Huh? Is there anything we could use to... Oh, whoa, whoa. What is that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, I know. We're going to steal his keys. I turned the phone off. It's already off. Okay. Oh, yes. So the receptionist can't call the janitor. So I thought I saw the janitor earlier, but now I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you should call him after all. Okay, one second. The number cannot be connected. Of course, I think his phone is shut off. What a bummer. We really need to get that toilet working again. <sighs> okay, I'll go. Thank you, Jenny. You're awesome. I know. Red, green, two, green, plug. Mm. It's finally connected to Mrs. Goodwin, I believe. What's up, Jenny? Mrs. Goodwin is waiting on the line. Should I connect her? Please do. Moore. Hi, Mr. Moore. This is Goodwin. How do you do, Mr. Mrs. Goodwin? Not too well, to be honest. My pension isn't too much, and all the meds are awfully expensive. Maybe you should have worked harder or eat healthier. Your death is only your own doing. That's not fair, Mr. Moore. You know, my husband passed away. And all the bureaucracy and confusing laws. Well, I just don't think it is fair that I need to pay the inheritance tax. Well, you should have done the proper paperwork. There are laws and you must honor them. I suppose, Mr. Moore, I suppose. Well, the reason I'm calling is that I'm asking you a little bit more time. I've been arranging my things and... No! No! The law does not compromise. There's nothing I can do. Surely the... Goodbye! What an old hat! What 
good start. Go and show them, dear. The moment of truth, son. walking freely slowly we are burdened by guilt oh we're suddenly walking faster what is this oh what was that it's the door I entered through the door. It was as black as night and as quiet as a grave. Only the pulse of my heart broke the silence. One more step. And the lights came alive with a shout. Surprise! The band started playing. Balloons floated to the ceiling. They were all there. They were all there. My bosses. Jenny and my colleges. It took a moment for me to figure out what was going on. I had proved myself. The party was for me, for my partnership. I took a long breath and swallowed. I prepared myself. I prepared myself to shout my resignation out loud. But then, Something happened. A purple, silky cloth revealed its secret. A new sign with my name on it. Greed reared its ugly hat. And my backbone snapped like a dry stick. But did you get your partnership? What happened next? Yeah, I got my partnership. Well, I suppose my feelings, my guilt, I kept working for a few years. You sure you don't want a swig? No thanks, sir. I'm on duty. I hope you don't mind if I do. Not at all, sir. I lied to myself. It's all okay. I say to myself. I just kept blowing into the balloon, you know? It only stretches so far. My mind broke. I started slipping. Heck, it may have even been deliberate. Not long after that, I was fired. And the standard of living I was used to. I run into debt. Big time. I lost everything. I feel pretty horrible for taking over your property now. Listen, kid. The reason I told you my story. Please say no more, sir. You really remind me of when I was a younger. I'll admit, your story really puzzles me. I'll give my career a second thought for sure. This probably was the first good deed I've done in my whole life. Please. Think it through so you won't end up like I did. I will. I will, but... Oh gosh, I hate doing this. You'll have to move out by the end of this month. I know the drill, kid. Take care now. I really hope he listened to my story. I think this is it. The bottle is empty. No more whiskey for me. It's not a gas oven. It's not a gas oven. I can't kill myself with it. He's trying to kill himself. Spent my last coin to buy this shotgun. I guess it's time to use it.
that could ease some of my depression. Nah. If I'm going to kill myself, I might just as well feel all the cliches and write a suicide note. I'll end my ambitious life in this humble chair. Depressing to write a suicide note. What do I have to say? What comes around, goes around. Fuck you. That will have to do. Oh no. So depressing. I feel bad for him. I hope he'll be fine. Come on, elevator. I just want to get away from here. Is it the elephant? Oh, no, no elephant. I have nothing to say. This is just far too depressing. Thank you for playing this train, the Lex Edition. It took quite a few cups of coffee to make this game. I had a lot of fun though, and as of writing this in 2017, the sequel is in the works. That's right, this train too is coming. I'd like to thank my wife Jenny for her support and my kids Reko and Minja. Also, thanks to my brother Juso for doing QA. She met with her husband. I can't. This game is so sad. It really reminds us the cruelty of life. It's kind of fleeting in a sense I don't want to believe that the world is cruel it's beautiful yet so cruel one moment you can be at the top of the world and feel that you're the best but there are so many bad people who would just use you for whatever you're worth in their eyes and just like that you're thrown away have nothing and it's just so sad. Okay then. That's it for today. I'm going to go and cry in the corner. <laughs> and I'm going to continue the second game of this series. So please stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!